I just threw bread so the crows and the blue jays are coming for the bread. And Buck is on his way. Wow, that's a big crow. You're a big guy. You get the bread. Okay, that's your breakfast. Get the bread. Come on, Buck. You have other people, friends joining you. Well, not people, but friends. <laughs> I said people. Why well, treat old? I see people. I talk to them like people. Get yeah, Bucks, get him out of the way. Get him out. <laughs> get him out. There you go. Look, this boy. I know Buck is looking like, wait, what are these guys doing here? <laughs> like they're new. They never hang out here. Right, Buck? No, it's okay, baby. <laughs> Buck is looking at that crow like, hey, bud, what are you doing there? And peanuts? I got your favorite peanuts. Got the mixed ones, baby. He loves mixed peanuts. If this cup was all plain peanuts, he would have probably just nibbled it a little, a few of them. And then, oh my God, that crow in the back just grabbed that apple. That crow has that piece of apple that I try to throw. And I purposely threw it there because I figured if Betty, you know, climbs up the hill. I guess the crows like the apples too. I guess everybody likes the apples, huh? That's why, Buck, I tell you and Betty, when I throw the apples on the ground, hurry up and eat them because... You got little ones, and then you got a peanut stealer, too. Where is he? Where's Alvin? Where's the peanut stealer? He wants to go bring them home. Unless he got scared of the crows. I don't know. I think Alvin must have got scared of the crows. Hey, baby, it's okay. Oh, Buck was laying down because he has a leaf on him. You don't like that crow? I don't think Buck likes the crow. Buck is staring at the crow right now. Come here, baby. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> that bird is not going to bother you. Here, Buck. Don't worry about it. Buck is like, Mom, I don't like that bird. You don't like that crow, baby? No? He's trying to get close to you because he wants your peanuts, Buck. He's trying to get close to you because he wants your peanuts, big boy. Yeah, I don't think Buck likes that crow. Oh, my God, that's so funny. He's staring at that crow like, don't come next to me. <laughs> right? Here, baby. Oh, you look so soft. It's okay. It's okay, baby. The birds. They're not gonna get you. You get it? Yeah. You got it? You got it. Good boy. Hopefully those crows or are... yeah, they last. Okay. And where's Miss Betty this morning? You came alone? Up oh, the Blue Jays are back. The Blue Jays and the Crows do not get along at all. They're always fighting, those two. Always. Right, Buck? They're always fighting, baby. Where's Miss Betty? Where'd you leave Miss Betty? I don't see her this morning. But I'm sure she's not far. She's just very quiet. Betty is a lot more quiet than he is. My husband used to think that he was more quiet, like in the forest walking around. I said, no, Betty's more quiet. Because there's times that Betty's right above the hill. And I don't even hear her. And she'll be just standing there foraging. And I wouldn't even spot her. Because she's so quiet. Right, Buck? I think you're heavier. I hear you when you walk. You used to be quiet, but now you're heavy, big boy. Where's my big boy? And I'm so happy he's doing so good. No buggies on him. Right, you got no buggies on you. Thank God, Buck, they finally leave you alone, but they finally left you alone. It's a doggies? It's okay, it's a doggy. A doggy's not gonna get you. They won't even see you, Buck. There's a fence in front of their yard, so they can't even see you. Maybe they could smell you, maybe. I don't know if dogs have that good of a sense that they could smell that far. I hear walking, but I don't see Betty. But I feel like she'll be popping up any minute because she knows that Buck comes here for corn and apples. So she's starting to, like, you know, pick up the trap, <laughs> like, what's going on. Right? Betty knows what goes on here. She knows my big boy gets all the treats, so she's probably like, let me hurry up and go there. Hopefully she comes soon, because I cut up an extra apple for her. You hungry today? My big boy. My big boy's hungry. You hungry, Buck?
Hey, baby. Those are neighbors. They're outside. There's Alvin collecting the rest of the peanuts that Buck didn't eat. And he probably just cleaned up all the peanuts. Here. What happened? It's a little chilly out guys this morning it's like in the 50s i know 50s is like for some people it's nice but i'm so used to the warm weather now that i want it to be 70s like it's chilly where i need a sweater but this sweater is like perfect for this type of weather because it's not too cold it's just a little chill in the air a little chill i shouldn't be complaining because in the winter i was hanging out here with him when it was like two degrees and stuff Right, Buck? Remember when I was hanging out with you? We were hanging out together when it was so freezing cold. I would sit out here literally in the freezing cold with him and stay out here with him for like an hour, a half hour, right? So you weren't alone? I always stood with you, but now you're not alone. Because you have Betty, but I still hang out with him. Like maybe right now that she's not around, he actually might hang out here for a while. Oh, that blue jay is so cute. Okay, I'll give you a couple more apples and then hopefully we'll save some for Betty if she comes. I don't see her. I gotta look at the trail cam after this video to see if she popped up, like today. Right, my big boy? My big boy won't leave me, but right? you won't leave me. I don't know if Betty will leave the forest. Hopefully not. Hopefully she stays here, Buck, so she stays here with you. Right? I don't see her, but or hear her. So she must be either laying down somewhere right now or taking a walk. We'll see later around dinner time if she pops up with him. Because usually she always comes for dinner with him. She won't pop up for breakfast, but she'll pop up for dinner. Now you want some corn and water? Yeah, baby. I put fresh water in there. Corn. Yeah, let's see if I'm you guys might spot her in between the woods. I don't. Don't see her. She must be taking a walk. Because sometimes when he comes to me, I notice sometimes he runs to me. So he probably leaves her wherever they are hanging out over there, down there. He probably leaves her there and then just runs straight to me. So she's probably like, I'm sure she knows that he's coming here. She's probably like, yeah, she's going over. Yeah, here, Buck. I wonder if she's coming because he keeps looking in there. Is your girlfriend coming? He's in the corn with the apples. He's so cute. Look, it's a beautiful morning, right? I just wish it was a little bit more sunny. Today looks like it's going to be a cloudy morning. A cloudy morning. Yes, yeah, some morning. <laughs> it's going to be a cloudy, cloudy morning. I'm getting tongue-tied over here. <laughs> Now the crows are mad probably because they want more apples. Because they're staying quiet on that tree right there. The crows are probably like, come on, throw some more apples. Yeah. Here you go, baby. You have more apples. Now you had the apples that you were supposed to eat. We will give Alvin a piece of apple. And the crow came back to get the bread. Oh no, he's getting the bread. That's a new thing now with the crows hanging out here. They never really hung out here before. And now they started hanging out here. Now they know where the food is, they're coming here too. And I used to hate crows because I used to look at them like they were bad messengers. An Italian thing. Usually there's an Italian saying that if you see a crow on a post or like standing on a tree by itself and it's screaming at you, that it's going to tell you like a bad message. And guys, that really happened to me. I swear, I'm not even lying. It really did. About six, seven years ago, when my father passed away, I was at work and there was a pole, like similar to this pole at my job. And literally, the crow was standing right on the pole, screaming at me. And I was like, what the hell? 
And I remember I called my mother because I remember growing up, my mother telling me about that, you know? So I called my mother, going, Mom, I'm so scared. I seen a crow and it was yelling at me. It's going to tell me something bad. I don't know what, but it's usually us Italians, we believe that crows are like the bad messengers, like if somebody's about to pass or somebody's really sick, like that the crows let us know, like, hey, this is going on. I believe it. When I was younger, I thought it was BS. I believe it because it's happened to me. So the crow, while I was at work, it was on a post screaming, looking at me. Then literally like 20 minutes later, I get a phone call that my father, that from a doctor, from my father, the hospital my father was in, telling me that my father passed away. And I was like, are you kidding me? And I was so pissed off at that crow. I know it's not the crow's fault, but I was mad. Cause I was like, why did you have to come here and tell me this, give me this message? Cause then I felt like that was the crow trying to give me the message. Yeah, so that's one of the Italian superstitions. So that's why when I see crows, I'm like, oh God. But I know these crows here, they're just hanging out. They're not telling me any messages. <laughs> they're not giving me any messages. They just want food. <laughs> so I'm not worried about that. But now when I see a crow, my stomach kind of spins a little bit. I'm like, oh God. It's Italian superstitious that we believe. One of them. Because us Italians, we have a lot of superstitious things. All right, Buck, my big boy. I want to actually find a shoe horse to hang up on this tree. Because shoe horses, they bring good luck, they say. So I want to get a shoe horse. I got to look. Because there's no horses around here where I could go get a shoe horse. <laughs> like, you know, somebody will give me a shoe horse. So I'm going to have to shop around for a shoe horse. All right, Buck, so we can hang it up by your home. And it brings good luck. And my baby will always have good luck. All right, my big boy. I can't believe I don't see Betty. I kind of like, you know, it makes me a little concerned, but I know she's definitely there. She has to be around because he's too calm right now. So she has to be close by because he'll try to leave usually, you know, when he figures like she's not close by. My big boy, you drinking? You drinking and eating? Yeah, today my rain. Today looks like it might be a rainy day. I hear the wind. And it kind of smells like rain outside. Like it has that wet smell. So it's definitely going to rain. I don't know when. Because I didn't look up the weather. Usually I'm always every night looking up the weather. I haven't done that. Right, Buck? We haven't been looking up the weather. I just come outside every morning. I get his stuff prepared and I come outside. It's so cute how he looks around while he eats. I wonder if he's trying to look behind. It's like he's probably like, let me see if I spot her while I'm eating. See, I think no matter what, even if that dough is in here, Buck still like, he didn't stop his schedule with me, you know? Like the schedule of coming for breakfast and dinner. Like I thought that was, like I thought he was going to ignore me and not come around anymore because he has a girl dough, but no, he's pretty good. Like he's still on schedule. He's still on schedule, big boy. There's Alvin right there behind him. He cleaned up all the peanuts already. He took all the peanuts home. <laughs> and he's looking for more. <laughs> that little chipmunk is looking for more peanuts. Uh, mister, I think you took all of them already. And now he got the bread. Or the apple. Oh, no, the apple he took. Oh, that's so funny. That chipmunk took the apple. <laughs> Because I threw a little piece of apple on the floor. The squirrels are coming. Alright guys, I'm going to get off this. Because I want to look through this trail cam footage to see what went on last night and this morning. Because that takes time for me to go through it. That's why this video is probably not going to be posted too, too early. Because of the fact that now i got to go through this trail cam. And by the time it's, I save the video. I had to cut the, uh, the length of the trail cam footage. Because it was recording up to 3 minutes of video. I had to take it out. I had to put it up to like 40 seconds of video. Because then to save the video. To get the video out of there into my phone. It was taking forever. Like literally forever. I was sitting over here at the spot for almost 2 hours. 
just to upload videos, you know, from the trail cam to my phone. I was like, no, no. And my husband was like, that's because you put the minutes too long. He was like, so it's going to take a while for each three minute video, you know, to transfer to your phone. So I switched it back to, I think, 40 seconds or something like that. As long as my husband said, as long as we see him that, you know, he's at the spot. Even if we get a couple of seconds of him that, you know, showing us that he's eating or he's hanging out over here. My husband's like, that's why I got you the trail cam. Not for you to sit there and record like five, ten minutes of videos. He was like, babe, he was like, for a trail cam to do that, forget it. You know how much batteries you got to go through? I was like, no, I know. So I did reset my trail cam back to, I think, 45 seconds, something like that. But I'm going to go now. He's probably done eating now. You done, big boy? My baby, you done? You finished eating, you fool? You fool, Buck. He's such a chunky boy. You're chunky, Buck. You're chunky. Look at that belly. Look at that belly on the side. That's his belly right there. Part of his belly. Like the side of his belly. You're a chunky boy. Who's a chunky boy? My neighbor calls him Fatso. <laughs> like when she sees him walking outside, she'll be like, hey, Fatso. Because <laughs> she told me, she was like, I think he's a thick deer. I said, well, you know, he's part of an Italian family. So it's going to happen. He's going to get a little thick. <laughs> All in the right spots. Right, Buck? All in the right places. You look good. You still look good, big. His hair is so fluffy. My God. I can't believe it. Look how fluffy he looks. See, he looks so fluffy. He's very fluffy. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go look at the trail cam footage now. Because I'm going to upload those two right after the breakfast video. And I will be back later for dinner time with Buck with another video. Me and Buck will be back and hopefully Betty because I didn't see her this morning. If she's in there right now, like somewhere down there, then I must not have good eyes, but I usually spot her and I don't see her. Honestly, I don't even hear her. And usually she makes some type of movement when she's down there. So she's definitely not down the hill right now. She's gotta be somewhere in the forest. Somewhere in there. I'm sure Buck will be bringing her later for dinner because that's what they do. They usually come together for dinner. Right, my big boy? You bring your girlfriend for dinner? For breakfast, you want all the apples to yourself. That's why. He's going to keep chilling here now because there was no corn in the bucket this morning. So he must have missed the corn. He's like, I missed the corn so much that I'm just going to stay here and keep eating until I get really full. <laughs> I'm sure that's what he's doing. He's so funny. All right, guys, so I'll be back later with another video, and this big boy is going to finish eating. <laughs> He's eating his corn right now. You done? You full? Are you full, big boy? I don't know if he's full. Let's see. He might be full. He don't know yet. He don't know yet if he's full. All right, so everyone, ciao for now. Me and Buck, and hopefully Betty, we will be back later for the dinner video.